Oh God. Oh, oh yes, yes, she's pregnant. I, for I literally forgot about this, y'all. I'm not even kidding. She's pregnant. Great. <laughs> Alright, hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of our Sims 2 Pleasant View Let's Play. So in the last part, we played with the Pleasant family. Oh my gosh, talk about freaking drama. And that family, I tell you what. <laughs> so anyway, today we are going to be playing with the Bright family, which is another exciting family. I'm excited to play. So yeah, let's go ahead and read their little bio here. It says, Brandy was left to raise two boys alone following her husband's suspicious pool ladder accident. With Dustin acting out, can Brandy teach young Bo to make the right choices in life? So we're going to be playing with Dustin Broke, Bo Broke, and Brandy Broke. And we did get an introduction to uh, Dustin in the last part. He is dating Angela Pleasant. So let's go ahead and hop on in. All right, so here we are in their household. And it says, Bo Broke is growing fast and Brandy wants to teach him all the skills he needs to stay out of trouble. Click on Bo to teach him to walk, talk, and fulfill wants for both Sims. All right, so let's go ahead and give our little tour of the house, which is not very big. So they live in this nice little trailer here. It's very small. <laughs> um, we have this not even really a living area right here. Um, their kitchen. This is Dustin's room, the bathroom, and this is Brandy's room. So yeah, Bo has a little crib and everything he needs out here. I'm assuming when he grows into a child, we will probably just like add, add a bed here. I would love for them to move into like a different house, but they really don't have a lot of money. All right, so let's look at Brandy here. She has a family aspiration and she wants to meet someone new, teach Bo to walk, teach Bo to talk, and teach Bo potty training. Her fears is to be rejected for a flirt, that Dustin gets a D report card, and that Dustin runs away. Oh, oh no. So her relationship says um, she's not very close with Dustin, and she's, she's getting there with Bo, and she's semi-acquaintances, I guess you would say, with Nina and Dina Caliente, which they are trouble, 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 trouble. And here is um, the family tree. This is Skip Broke. Um, so there is a lot of speculation on his suspicious pool ladder accident. Um, did I even show the pool out here? So this is the pool, right? I mean, this is really not even a freaking pool to me. Like, what the hell? It's like the size of a freaking hot tub or something. I don't know. So anyway, there's no ladder, which in The Sims 2, if you don't have a ladder or, you know, you take the ladder out, you put your Sims in, they're going to drown. Um, it's not like The Sims 4 where they can climb in and out over the ledges. So anyways, there's a lot of speculation on... What really happened with his death? Did she kill him? Did the family kill him? Whatever. There's a. I, I talked about that in my recreation. I'm not going to get into all those theories, but yeah, I just wanted to mention that real quick. Um, she does not have a career. So, um, Dustin, I'm pretty sure he has a part-time job. We'll check him out in a second. But yeah, she's not contributing any like money, but you know, she has really good skills in cooking, and you know, she's trying to raise her sons. Um, the best way that she knows how. And just because she is a family aspiration sim and that her husband, you know, obviously was the provider for their family. I don't agree with the theory that she killed him. I just, I don't see, I just don't know why she would, you know. Um, she is an Aries. This is her personality. Her bio says, friendly by nature, Brandy has often been accused of being overly so. She enjoys grape juice and crumpling tinfoil. What? <laughs> what? I don't know. I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay, so here is her interest. Uh, she's interested in money, even though she has, like, none. Oh, but you know what I just thought of? You know what I'm saying? Maybe, you know, I don't see her. I wasn't going to talk about this, but while we're here. I don't see her, like, killing her husband just because, you know, obviously she's interested in money. They don't have a lot of money, but, you know, maybe, maybe he was not providing enough for her. And, you know, she is getting to know the sisters the caliente sisters and they are very much into money maybe they convinced her to like off him i don't know i don't know y'all there there's so many different rumors what do y'all think but she's interested in entertainment um fashion sports weather travel um let's see her memories her memories obviously her growing up um learning how to talk she made best friends with skip had a very first kiss with Skip. Fell in love with Skip. Got engaged to Skip. 
she got a job. So she did have a job at one point. She got married to Skip. Did the woohoo. Her parents died. Oh, her parents, uh, parents, by the way, are Bob and Betty uh, Newby from the original Sims. <laughs> and she got a promotion. Had Dustin. Potty trained Dustin. And he actually grew up well. Then her husband died and Dustin grew up badly. So the death definitely affected Dustin. Like the death of his dad affected him. Then she had Bo and then she quit her job. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, her turn-ons are glasses, mechanical, her turn-off is formal wear. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, Brandy here. Let's look at Dustin. I'm trying not to get all these names mixed up. So he has the fortune aspiration, and he wants to earn $100, sneak out with Angela, get into private school, and go to college. <gasps> That makes my heart happy because I forget like he is considered like a criminal and a bad boy but he really does want to do good and, and be a better person and better his life. Oh my gosh that I, I love it. I love it so much. His fears is to get rejected for his first kiss by Angela, um, get a D report card and get rejected from private school. Alright so his uh, relationships not very good with his mom. Okay, with his brother. He's best friends and go and study with Angela. Um, he's friends with Gordon King, which is a robber. <laughs> um, we just acquainted Lilith, so he's almost friends with her. And he has enemies with Daniel Pleasant. Alright, and his job, he um, is a C student. So he does not want to get a D report guard. So we've got to like help him, you know, achieve his goals of like getting into college and everything. So we got to work on his schooling. And he's going to prove everybody wrong. He is in the criminal um, career as a street hawker. He, you know, he's making money for the family. His mom's not working. So, you know, he's doing what he's got to do to provide. That's really sad. Like he's, oh, look at his face. I feel for him. I really, really do. Alright, and his turn-ons is gray hair, so okay. <laughs> Lil I mean Angela's was also gray hair too, so I guess they um they both they they both like them older. <laughs> and he does like a hard worker and his turns off his turn off is um someone who is unemployed. Alright, so his personality he is a Aries. It says, Dustin's rebellious nature gets him into trouble, but deep down he wishes people would tell him what to do. You know what? I've always said this. I've dealt with a lot of kids before because, you know, just like at church and I was like, I'm very involved in like the youth and everything. And I've just, I've, I've, I've been in that situation with kids that have been very like rebellious and hateful and I've seen the way they've grown up and everything and they act out, they do stuff for attention and they get in trouble, but deep down they want discipline. They want to be told what to do. They want somebody to care about them enough to tell them what to do. Like that's sad. It really is. And I, I just... Dustin, my heart, like, I, I feel for you, I really do. I just feel like him and Lilith would be a better couple than him and Angela, oh my god. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Alright, so his interest, um, he's interested in politics, he's very interested in crime, even though he doesn't, he wants to better himself. Um, money, environment, sports, animals, and travel, okay. His memories, let's see, um, he learned how to talk and grew up well and everything. He met Angela, uh, Skip died, and then he grew up badly. Uh, Bo joined the family, made best friends with Angela, lost a fight with Gordon, so, um, Gordon is his friend, but why, why was they fighting? I don't know. <laughs> and then he started going steady with Angela. We already looked at his turn-ons. Alright, and so this is little Bo here. He's a cutie. Alright, so he just has a nice little grow up aspiration. He just wants to grow up. Um, his wants, he just wants to learn how to walk and talk. His fears is the death of his mom and his brother and to throw up. Oh my god, do y'all hear that? I am so sorry. I am trying to record right now. Could you please stop? They are um, leaf blowing or doing whatever they're doing down below. I'm so sorry. I hope y'all can't hear that too obnoxiously. It's getting closer and closer. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, guys, sorry. I was trying to, like, stop for a second and let them do what they're doing out there. And it's still going on, but I think it's it's getting further away. So maybe y'all can't hear it as bad. Y'all might 
not even be able to hear it, but it's very loud, so I don't see how you would not be able to hear that. But anyways, guys, okay, so here's his relationship with his mom and his brother. Obviously, he's a little taut, so he doesn't have, like, a career, any early skills. He doesn't really have any memories. So, yeah, let's go ahead. Oh, ooh, ooh, wait, first we gotta look at their story, mo story? <laughs> story mode. Okay, so this looks like Brandy and her mom. Um, here is Skip proposing to Brandy in a nightclub. Here they are falling in love. And here they are with um, Dustin at his birthday as he's aging up. And here she is. Um, looks like she's going into labor. She's going into labor with, um, with Bo. So I guess he passed right after Bo was born. Or right be was it before Bo was born or right after he was born? Hold on, let me see. I forget. Hold on, guys. Okay. Okay, so he died right before. Huh? That's confusing. I don't know. Alright, anyways. Let's not waste... <laughs> I can't talk. What the hell? Let's not waste any more time. Where is she going? Oh, to tell him a joke. I was like, calm down. Why are you chasing after him? So he's acting now. He's kicking stuff over. She's gonna go try to lighten the mood, tell him a joke. But anyways, let's come over here and work on him. Let's teach him how to walk. Um, she does not want him to grow up badly, so she is a good mom, but... Oh, Alright, so what can we do with him? Oh, he's about to go to school, so pick that up. Okay, I know you're mad, but let's, let's not. Let's clean this up and just get it out of your system and just clean it up now. And he's going to go off to school, so I guess we're going to hang out here for a little bit. Um, my god, how obnoxious. I can't believe they decide to freaking leaf blow and do all their freaking cleaning while I'm trying to record. Rude. But anyways, yeah. We're going to freaking, um, get so aggra aggravated. So now I'm obviously like, I'm like freaking, freaking, freaking because I'm aggravated. So anyways, he just learned how to walk. So that was very quick. He must have been almost there. So let's have her come over here and use the restroom real quick. Hold up. And where is he going? So he can walk now. He's got to use the potty. So, as soon as she gets done, let's try to potty train him. So, yeah. I don't want this part to be, like, very boring. So, what I'm going to do is just have her, like, work on his skills off camera. And then when Dustin gets home, we'll pick back up. Okay. So, Dustin has returned from school. And he has brought a friend over today. And it is Miss Angela, and he also has a day off work, so that's cool. We don't have to worry about him. He wants to buy a handheld game, but you all don't really have the money for that. So, um, why is she coming to lecture him? About what? He didn't do anything. I mean, really? Why are you being so hard on him? Look at him. He's trying. He really is. This is... Oh, no, I'm telling y'all. The drama. Just how relatable this is. is unreal. Alright, so anyways. He's kind of pissed off now. I mean, he went to school. He hasn't done crap. And his mom's going nuts on him. So that's cool. That's real cool. Alright, so... Oh my god. Come over here and take care of your child. We was in the process of teaching him how to... um to talk and not we we've neglected his needs so let's get him a bottle and she needs to take care of herself too oh my gosh we've got problems we got problems all right and so dustin he needs to have some fun and also he needs some social so let's have, have him come over here and have his first kiss with her because they haven't even had their first kiss let's have brandy come over here and serve some pizza <laughs> be uncomfortable but that's cute all right so they just shared their first kiss and uh, they i think they well that was like yeah well i was about to say i seen red hearts i thought that meant in love did that just happen let's check his memories yeah he just fell in love with angela so here's the thing because he is a criminal and he has made some bad decisions and he's grown up badly. I feel like, you know, and him and Angela, they've been friends since they were kids, right? 
Um, and she's just, she's basically goody good two shoes, right? She's Miss Perfect. And I think that in a way she betters him. He may, she like encourages him to do better. She's not interested in crime. She's not about that life. But she's your typical teenage girl that is in love with the bad boy and she wants to change the bad boy. And in her case, this bad boy does want to change. He wants to be better. But at the same time, like that's a cute little love story. But man, I still feel like him and Lilith have so much more in common. Like just the way they've grown up and everything. So, ugh. <laughs> All right, so let's have him come here and play this real quick. Um, get his fun up a little bit. Okay, when she gets done eating that pizza pizza, let's have her come over here and empty this and try to get him on the potty before he goes in his pants. And it looks like it's time for him to have a nap. I guess Angela's going to help herself to some pizza. That's okay. All right, so anyways, yeah, let's hurry up and get him to the potty. All right, so let's stop playing that and be held. All right, so he did learn how to walk. Um, he still needs to be potty trained and still needs to learn how to walk, but he's getting there. How many days until he ages up? I feel like he's there. He's almost there, isn't he? Where's that at, y'all? Oh, right here. Two days. Yeah, he's almost there. So he's almost a child. So he'll be moving into Dustin's room shortly, which Dustin's probably not excited about that at all. So yeah, he's almost there, almost potty trained. And looks like um, Angela's coming over here to talk to him a little bit. We do have to work on his grades because it is Monday. So let's do our homework. Where is our homework? Where is our inventory? Where? Oh, it's not in the inventory. He sat it down out here. All right, so put this can we put this no okay well let's bring it inside here we need to work on that because he does want to get into private school he cannot get into private school anytime soon until he gets his homework up so let's do some homework here while his fun is up and everything's going good he does he did say he <laughs> I'm, I'm talking way too fast oh god Oh, oh, yes, yes, she's pregnant. I, I literally forgot about this, y'all. I'm not even kidding. She's pregnant. Great. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Um, and I'm assuming is, is, is the dad um, Skip? I'm not really sure. I'm assuming. Okay, she doesn't have a relationship with anybody else. But this is just perfect, perfect. Because look at this house. There's no room for freaking three kids in this house. You need to get a job, Brandy. We're going to get you a job, okay? I'm going to let you have your pregnancy, but then you're getting a job, girl. It's time to grow up. I mean, I mean, you can't rely on your poor son to freaking hold this family together. It's just, it can't happen. Okay, can you come over here and, like, ask her to put you to sleep? Ask to be read to? No, Brandy, put him in his crib. He's sleepy. Okay, so yeah, we have a baby on the way, so that's great. I'm pretty sure it's a boy, so if you guys have any suggestions um, on what we should name her baby, let <laughs> leave them down below. All right, so Bo's going to take a little nap, and we have Dustin over here working on his homework. Okay, so Brandy was, like, starving. She's had, like, four pieces of pizza, and her hunger is still not all the way up. Um, that's great. And her fun's down, her hygiene's down, her energy's down. The one thing that I don't like about The Sims 2 is that I feel like their needs decay a whole lot more. Like, they're just, it's, they're a lot harder to keep up with. Just, like, keeping them happy and everything. So, yeah. Alright, guys. Basically, I think I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this part up here because there's really not much more to do today. Um, we just, you know, had our little introduction to the family. <laughs> Um, they had their first kiss, fell in love, and she is working on Bo's little skills here. So we will definitely achieve those before he ages up. And, of course, Brandy is pregnant with uh, another baby. So, yeah, leave those baby name suggestions down below. Let me know what y'all think. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment everything you want to see, what you thought, all that down below. Subscribe if you have not. And, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Um, we are almost done with our introductions. We have one more. It is the Dreamer family. And then we're hopping back. We're doing a full circle. We're rotating through. Just playing with their lives. Some of them are going to come together. Some of them are going to, like, fall apart. I'm very excited to see what's, what's going to happen. Oh, wait. It says Bo will grow up in just one day at 6 p.m. It's time to plan a birthday party and buy Bo a birthday cake. Oh, okay. So we've really got to work on his skills because he's about to 
he's about to age up. So it looks like in the next part, we will be aging up both. So anyways, guys, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see y'all later. Keep on doing what you do, doing what you do. Just keep on doing what you do, doing what you do. What you like to do, what you like